show me that the mechanical mechanical energy is equal to electric electric energy all right so i'm going to probably give you a few seconds and you you show me the proof all right once you have once you're done you show me your work and um take a look and give you a feedback um done. so here is the student um albert he wrote uh, mechanical energy is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy that's true but that's not what i am looking for it has nothing to do with the dunal portion pay attention in the future uh, the student, another student wrote me mechanical energy, so he did not make any effort. In the future, try to make effort. I even, guess I can't really do anything in a few seconds. Even if it is wrong. Mechanical energy is W. W is equal to what? F D. We're gonna we're gonna show that that and electrical energy is F over Q. Okay, so that the okay, let's see. F is equal to what? This F? F is equal to F is equal to K over Q. K over Q. No, not K over Q. E over Q. Oh. E over Q. Yeah. So uh, be careful. E so E is equal to. Yeah. Um, e uh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. E is equal to F over Q. Yeah. E is equal to F over Q. And then F. F is equal to. E Q, right? Right. Then we can replace F by EQ. F by so EQ D. Uh, then we can write W is equal to what? EQ, uh, QED. QED. Now, uh, ED has a special, uh, a special ED is what? Voltage. Is it voltage? Oh. Yeah, it is voltage. Do you see why? Uh, let's so take a look. I have two plate. This is a positive plate. This is negative. This is negative plate. Where is the uh, where is the high voltage? Where is the low voltage? Hmm. Uh, high voltage is positive. High voltage is positive. And low, low voltage, voltage is negative. Low. If I have a Q over here and this is positive Q, of course. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh. Then I have the high, what is the oh, high, high potential oh. energy? High potential energy over here. And what about if I move it over here? It has high kinetic high energy. energy. Uh, low potential and, and high kinetic. We are talking about in terms of potential energy, right? Okay. Yeah. Low. That's how kinetic energy would rise. So, potential energy decreases. So, what is this one? Can you say this is D? Oh, the distance. The distance from positive plate to negative plate? Yeah. Okay. Isaac, is this um, distance? Yeah. So then, uh, the voltage, and there is the electric field over here. Electric field is equal to what? Uh, would it be V over Q? No. V over? D. D. V over D. Oh, so V equal to ED is derived from that. V is equal to ED. So then W is equal to what? Q V Q V and let's prove that mechanical energy which is F D mechanical energy is F D and electric energy what? Q V Q V and they're equal. And they're equal. So F D is equal to Q V. Q V. Alright, this is proof. Now there are many other ridiculous equations that can be derived from this. Right. Also. Yeah, of course. So we're going to do that. But before we do that, we're just going to talk about, we're going to go to the lesson and start our conversation. So let's go to the lesson. Oh, you know that electric energy can transform. Um, I would like to turn in my work. Oh, okay. So this uh, guy is doing something and that is that looks looks good this is the work for of isaac oh, i've got some more this is the work of isaac albert and this is the high voltage this is the low voltage i want to see uh, your own work okay now lesson let's go let's move to the lesson and don't call me gary gary can i work with you so shh quite um all right so let's move to the lesson 
Now our lesson is going to start with the electric energy. We already established the fact that mechanical energy is equal to electric energy. We already established that. Now we want to know how friendly the electric energy is. If it is friendly, then we can transform it to the way we want, right? For example, yeah. does that make sense? Yeah. So uh, understand that electric energy is very really friendly thing. Does that make sense? Yeah. You can transform it to heat. You can transform it to Thermal light. Energy. Can you tra transform electric energy to light? Yes. Yeah. Have you ever seen? Friendly, do you mean like tangible, plausible? Yes. Have you ever seen light? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So of course if, we do. I we think... always see it, uh, but we never see it like actually reflecting. But we always see it around us. We always see light. So uh, th this is, for example, a light. Is this a light? Yeah. It gets two times now. Uh, no, this is this is like a circuit with the light? Yeah, what is it? A light bulb, right? Yeah. A light bulb is made of what? There is a there is a uh, filament. Filament inside and made of tungsten. So this this is a filament. How do tungsten? Fil Fil A M E T. Fila M E N T. Filament. All right now. Okay, so now what happened? The electron moves to the the from negative, negative terminal to positive, positive terminal. The electron moves from low low voltage to high, high voltage. Now, uh, I'm sure that you know, there's a reason you mentioned the filament. It has to affect it somehow. Right. So the electron carries what? So um, charge. Charges. Now electron has energy, right? If it doesn't have energy, it would not carry the charge. Energy comes from the voltage. So electron has what? Some type of? Charge. energy but electron loses the energy because electron collide with what atom these are atoms so electron collide with these are electron right yeah. so yeah. electron collide with atoms if electron collide with atoms what happen the kinetic energy the kinetic increases energy. Kinetic, energy. kinetic energy increases Increase. kinetic energy of the atom increases and so does thermal if kinetic energy increases, what, what, what happens? So, temperature. So, is the temperature. Then, temperature but increases. Tensile energy has to decrease, right? Oh, yeah. We are talking about in terms of kinetic energy yeah. right now. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, so now, then loss of energy, transport to, okay. So, you have the electric energy, right? Yeah, you have right. a lot of storage right now. You have, you have, okay. Thing. You have electric energy, right? Yeah. yeah. You are at night, you want to convert, you want to transform electric energy to what? Light, right? Light. So, what percent of electric energy convert to light, you think? Uh, 10%. 10%? 10%? 10 and 90%. Oh so, 10% is what? Light. 10% is light. light. And 90% gets converted to heat, thermal energy. Thermal energy. What is the use? That's why, so, that's why when I touch the lights on a car, my hands practically burn. Right. When do we use light at night? Yeah. When do you use heat? Always. Cold, especially winter. Oh. Yeah. What Wait, is that? Do you, do you use heat in the Sahara Desert? Uh, no, you don't. So, yeah. so uh, not always. But do we have something that gives us heat, keeps us warm at home right yes. now? Yeah. What is it? A heater. What a, is, what, a radiator. A radiator gives heat. Or the light bulbs right above our heads. This light bulb, 10% electric energy converts to light energy. And 90% is converted to thermal to energy. Heat energy. Heat. So do you know that if we have 100 bulbs in this room right now, the glue, we will have the temperature increases in this room? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, so no, uh, there is no uh, 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 mystery behind why the temperature so increases. So if we have like 10 light bulbs, it will have the glowing energy of a single light bulb all just, yeah. Right, so, so many. Because a tenth of the energy in a light bulb is converted to light. Right. Now, so I don't know really why they call it a light bulb, they should now, call it a heat bulb. Now we're gonna uh, kind of uh, explain it in terms of what power. Oh. So the the power is what? power what is time? energy over time. Energy over time. 
We already know what is energy, right? Work. Energy is work I am and time is time. But I'm work, cramming. we proved that. I'm cramming. Can I do my work? Wow. This, uh, this guy uh, have really good work. Uh, this is Isaac work. And this is Albert work. Now she will what he try to uh, accomplish. I guess uh, he did the filament, the light bulb thing. I'm not sure. Okay, now let's let's go. So this is F D of what? Uh, T. T. And this is you prove that F D is what? Q V. Q V over T. So they all are the same thing. They all are the same, same thing. But this is what we need. Q V so over. F D is equal to Q V. Q V over T. Now remember what is this? Oh, that Q over T. That's the definition of current. Current is what? Oh, I. R. Current is I. I. Q over. T. Current is Q over T. So I. I times I. V. V. Now Ooh. the good thing will happen ah. soon. So P is equal to I V, right? Mm -hmm. The Ohm's law. Oh, and V yeah. is I R. Yeah. Ohm's law V I R, right? R now, V over I. Now, now, what is V? I R. Uh, and what is I? V over R. V over R. And what is R? Um, v over I. V over I. But all of these can uh, respectively be accomplished by taking one and then doing cross. No, that's right. Just so, 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 so P is equal to instead of B, we're gonna write I R. I R. So, so I squared R. I R. So I squared R. R. So P is, is we're gonna write that down. P is I squared R. Uh, P is I V. Right? This is electric yeah. current, right? Uh yeah, that's right. And then P is what? Electric, Again, IV? No, this is yeah. electric power, right? This is electric power, right? I V. And let's do in terms of this is I and R in terms of what? We can do it V and R? Can we set them equal to each other? Uh, no no we Put it uh, over here. What uh, we want to put the oh we want to put instead the instead of I we can just write uh, instead of and instead of I we can we can write v over r times v, v over r times v so v over r times v v so v squared over oh r. so power is v squared over r. okay so power is how many things power is uh, i v current power v. is i squared r Power is V squared over R. And all of these are defined in the reference, in your local physics reference table from 2006. That's true, but you know. Yeah, it's better it's to better prove to, it. Yeah, true. Okay, now there is a problem. Because it will really solve the beauty instead of just memorizing it from a, a ma physics magazine. There you go. Now Jay, let's. Can you help me? Now oh let's. Shh, quiet. Now let's solve a problem, okay? Let's say a headlight. Have you ever seen the car I'm headlight? Very Have you ever seen car headlight? Yes. Yeah. Okay, this is car headlight. Car headlight can have what? Uh, filament. Uh, not, we are not talking about filament. Oh. It has, has voltage, right? right? This can. Oh, what well, resistor? Okay, what, what voltage it has? Uh, 12, this, maybe 12. 12 voltage. Yeah. And uh, let's say current. Okay. How much current it draws? Let's say. Uh, 40 watt. Oh, the power? Okay, you want, oh, we want to solve it in, in terms of power. So 40 watt. We want to find what you guys want to find. Uh, maybe do you want to find resistance, Gary? Uh, I think it's resistance. Okay, let's find the resistance. Also, stop calling me Gary. Right, so, I will, uh, huh. so now, which formula you want to use? Power, power, power. Wait. Okay. P equal V squared over O. No, let's see. Let's check. Know. Let's check oh, the first one. Do we have I? No. No. Do we have I? No. <laughs> okay. All right, very good. So now R is equal to then what? Wait, P or uh, V squared over T. P. Wait, 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 wait. So um, P, so forty equals to one forty four over R. So, so what is it? One forty four uh, equals oh, to forty. I have my word. Oh wait, wait, wait. Three point six. Okay, let's see. Twenty five plus eleven is. Okay. Can you 36 over 10, 3.6. I accidentally calculated that in my oh, head. So 3.6. Okay. You know how I got that? I just oh, copied oh, from you. So, hey, 144 over, uh, 144 over 40, the, uh, then uh, 144 goes to 4 36 times. And then 40 goes to 4 10 times. 36 over 10 is 3.6. 
All right, there you go. Now exit slip. You want to do exit slip or do you want to end? Stop calling sure. me Gary. Okay, so I end the lesson. No exit slip um, today. I want yeah. the instructor. I would like to report over for uh, copying off me. Don't copy him, okay? The copying is bad. Sorry. Practice. Man. Don't copy from other students. Try to understand, okay? We don't do memorization here. Okay, let's see you tomorrow.